So what do you do with 10 gallons of fresh pressed cider? Let's make some booze with it. Uh, I've got two different experiments kind of going on here. This is a Lelvin 71 Beast. This one is D47. Um, other than that, everything else is the same. So far we've used four teaspoons of pectic enzyme in each. A uh, full packet of the aforementioned yeast. One and a quarter teaspoon full of acid blend. And it looks like five teaspoons of yeast nutrient in each. Uh, what was interesting was that the 71B bubbled much more vigorously uh, and about a day earlier. Uh, 71B took a sample out here and it actually went from specific gravity of 1.050 to 0 0.994 in 13 days. Um, that's not the only test we do with this sample, right? So we're going to take a taste. This is actually pretty good the way it is. If it was chilled, it'd be real good. Um, it's crisp and uh, she described it almost as having that kind of champagne um, bubbly feeling almost like it's carbonated but it's not um, you know, a lot of ciders kind of have that characteristic to it so yes I would drink it the way it is right now if I wanted to um, we're going to try the other one Ooh, it smells a little different. Looks about the same though. 0 0.998. Let's taste. Cheers. Hmm. Tastes about the same. I feel like this one isn't quite as tart. If you're going to stop at this stage, I recommend 71B. on our cider. Um, we did the rack on it. It's settled out here for four days on this and it has again accumulated some sediment down here. We're going to speed up the process a little bit by using some sparkaloid. Um, use one teaspoon in a cup of boiling water. We'll just add this and that should over the next week help all the sediments come out of this solution. We're going to keep this as a cider and we're actually going to take some of it and try carbonating it too. Alright we've got our Lelvin 71B. It's uh, been settling out here for about a week. We gave it sparkaloid and it's nice and cool here in the basement so we are going to go ahead and rack this into a couple different containers. So we actually ended up with about four gallons here after doing a couple of racks and um, what our plan is here is to have we've got two gallons in the big bucket, a one gallon carboy here and a one gallon um, plastic bucket here. I'm going to add one Camden tablet to this, and we'll let it sit for a few days. And then we'll back sweeten that afterwards. 
Okay, so this gallon is going to be our controlled carbonation. We're going to try this method. If this method works, then I think this will be the easiest way to do it rather than pasteurization. So we got a gallon of our cider here and one ounce of sugar. We're going to add that together um, and then just slightly mix. Don't over agitate. And that is supposed to, when we bottle it, um, create enough carbonation to uh, to give you that fizzy feeling. All right, so now we're working on our sweet carbonated cider. Um, I did a little math. Hopefully this is right. I've got about two gallons in here, and we're gonna add a pound. One pound, two ounces, 0 0.4, 2.4 ounces. Should be enough to sweeten it up to about a uh, specific gravity of 1.02 and have some in there for carbonation. So we're just going to dump this in, it's room temperature, sugar, and we'll take a specific gravity reading, I think is what we're going to do and then bottle it up and wait until we need to pasteurize. Ooh, right on the money. 1.020. Alright, we'll leave those for a few days. And the reason why we did these plastic bottles is we're gonna check the um, we're gonna check the pressure when this bottle is tight and expanding that's when we know we've got enough carbonation this is the d47 i didn't like the flavor as much it was still good still drinkable uh, but it just didn't quite have that same pop as the other yeast that we use so we're going to turn this into some wine we took four pounds of brown sugar and made a syrup out of that. Um, we're going to add that to our mix here and retest our specific gravity. Using brown sugar because I've never tried it before. I read online some folks like it because it uh, has a little bit of a caramel flavor to it. Most people say that you can't really notice the difference but Ooh, look at that. I love it. Yeah, let's say 1.034. So here's our wine. I've checked the specific gravity and it hasn't changed over the last week. We're going to go ahead and uh, rack it. Also add some sparkaloid to clear it up and then some Camden tablets uh, to kill any remaining yeast activity. And in about a week, we'll go ahead and bottle that up. We're gonna do some taste testing on the variants of our apple cider, um, and then we'll rank which ones we like the best. They're all in front of us here. This one is the dry and carbonated. It does have some bubblies in it. I don't like that one. I like the flavor. It's very tart. But I like green apples, sour apples. This one's good. You like this one? That one's good. This is a sweet and carbonated. I don't like this one as much. I'd rather drink the first one. This one's weird, but I like it. This one is the sweet uh, it's cider. It's bubbly. Oh, that one is good. And then this is actually the wine, uh, apple wine. One, two, three. This one's bad. Don't break that one at all. No, no, no. I disagree. This one's better than this one. But these two are the best. So the sweet cider and 
than that apple wine. One thing is that this one's good. You like that one? This one is not. This one's not bad. That one's been pasteurized, and I feel like it affects the flavor. But this um, was completed three months or no more than that, four or five months or so ago in November. Today is March 15th. So the sweet cider, actually, when I poured it, it was very bubbly. And it's got some sediment in it now where it was clear before. It makes me wonder, hey, look at those bubbles crawling up there. We got some fermentation. I think we have some secondary fermentation going, and that's why we got the bubbles. It's still very sweet and tastes excellent. That just means that I'm going to have to make sure I hit that sweet apple cider pretty hard so that my bottles don't explode. Darn. That'll be a hard task. Yep, smells boozy. Did anybody else make this much of a mess?